Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we are going to check and test out Reolink Spotlight Wi-Fi camera, the Reolink Lumus. I have seen this camera at their booth at CES last January, and this is the wired version. And there is also a battery version coming later this year. Spotlight cameras have been gaining popularity and it started with the Ring Spotlight Cam a couple years ago. And more and more manufacturers have been adding them on their Wi-Fi camera lineup. I always have said that color recording at night is the way to go for security cameras. And I'll link a video that I made comparing the black and white night vision to color recording at night. And this will give you an idea on how to set up your security cameras in your home. Reolink originally planned to release the Lumos mid-February. But this coronavirus put a big damper on things. But this camera is now available or soon if not yet at time of this video posting. So we will do the unboxing, check out its features, set it up and check out its video and audio quality during daytime, at night with a spotlight on and off, and the regular black and white night vision. We will also do a battery of tests and see if this camera is a good fit for your needs. Let's check out its features. On the box, it says it has an integrated spotlight, enhanced color night vision, 1080p full HD, smart PIR sensor, and uses 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and is IP65 weatherproof. That is the only information on the box. So we will check out the other features in Reolink's website. Motion Spotlight with Color Night Vision, 1080p Full HD, PIR Motion Alerts, 2-way Audio, and it is priced at $80. So this is wired and needs to be plugged in. It has a configurable motion detection and has the activity zones and adjustable motion sensitivity. It uses PIR and pixel-based detection to have more accurate motion detection. It has pre-motion recording where it will start to record 4 seconds before motion is detected. So we will see the whole event from beginning to end. It has flexible recording options. You can use and place a micro SD card in the camera itself to record motion activated events and it can support up to 64 gigabyte card or it can record 24 7 when connected to Reolink's NVR or you can sign up for Reolink's cloud to back up motion clips you can integrate this camera with Google Home and Amazon Echo devices now for detailed specs it records in 1080p full HD at 15 frames per second it has a 100 degree horizontal field of view and 54 degrees vertical FOV. Night vision distance of up to 33 feet. PIR detection distance of up to 21 feet, which is lower than the usual, which is around 30 feet. But we also have pixel based detection. Spotlight is 1.6 watt, 6500 Kelvin, and 180 lumens. Time to open up the box. We have a paperwork envelope. We have a window sticker. We have the operational instructions. We have a screw-in mount made of plastic and aluminum. Then we have the camera itself. We have the spotlight, camera lens, light sensor, and infrared LEDs, and the PIR sensor in the front. On the side, we have the Reolink branding. On the back, we have the speaker. We have a quarter 20 thread to mount the camera. The USB power cable is permanently attached to the camera and is around 10 feet in length with a USB plug on the other end. What else is inside the box? We have the power adapter and it has different plug attachments depending on which country Reolink is going to ship this to. But it seems like on this review unit, Reolink forget to send the US plug version. The adapter's output is basically a 5 volts and 2 amps which I do have several here that I can use, so no biggie. But just for reference, you can just slide in the plug and it will snap in place. And push the tab to remove. We have some mounting screws, plastic anchors, and a reset push pin. Time to set this up. First, download, sign up, and log into the Reolink app. Click the plus icon on the upper right corner to add the camera. Scan the QR code which is located at the back. Then choose Wi-Fi not configured to add a new camera. Plug the camera in and wait for the voice prompt. Please run Reolink app. Add the camera and set it up. Click Next. Type in your Wi-Fi password. Show the QR code generated to your camera. Scan succeeded. Camera is connecting to your router. Check off I have heard the voice prompt and click Next. Create a login password for the camera. 
name your camera, which I'll name mine Lumos. Click finish. Now let's check out the live view. Yup, it works. Tap on the spotlight switch. The spotlight works. Now let's check out the settings. On the main app page, you will see your cameras. And when you click on it, it will show you the live view. On the upper right corner, there is a bulb icon to turn on the spotlight. And it will also change the view of the camera to full color. Turning it off, it will change back to night vision. Clicking the bell, you'll be prompted that you will turn on the siren. Then we have the pause icon to pause live view. We have the speaker to listen or mute. Camera icon to take a snapshot. And video icon to record the current live view and this will be saved to your phone's album. Then we have the video quality of the current view. We have fluent or 1080p. Then we have the spread arrows to view the camera in full screen. On the bottom, we have the mic icon to start two-way audio. Tap it again to start and it is full duplex. Then we have the playback to view motion activated footage. Now this camera has 4 seconds of pre-recording so it will take around that time before somebody or something comes up in the screen. Then if you want to download the footage, you can download it in 30 second clips. The gear icon at the top right will get you to the camera settings. We have the camera info, share option, push notification, on or off, and Wi-Fi settings. Then we have the display, where you can change the quality and the display settings of the camera. There is also an option for a privacy mask if you want an area of the camera's view to be blacked out. Then we have motion detection, where we have the sensitivity of the PIR sensor, where you can set it from 50, which is the highest, to 1, which is the lowest. Then you can customize it, where you can change the sensitivity on different 6-hour timeframes. Then we have motion zones, where you can create a zone over the area you don't want to receive alerts. So you draw a blue zone on areas you don't want to monitor. You can also use the eraser to erase the blue zones. Camera recording, turn on or off. And you can schedule it. You can also choose post motion recording duration on how long the camera will continue to record. From 15 seconds, 30 or 1 minute. Then we have the siren on or off when it detects motion. Email alerts if you want to be notified via email also when it detects motion. Spotlight on if you want it to automatically turn on when it detects motion at night. Notification settings if you want to schedule your notifications at different times. Record audio on or off. Infrared lights if you want it in auto or stay off. I kept this one in auto, as you will see in the footage at night, it is in night vision until it senses motion, and then it turns to full color. Then status LED, on or off. Time to install it outside. First, the mount itself is designed that you can thread a strap so that you can strap the camera to a pole instead of screwing it in. Unscrew the mount so that you can access the base. Screw in the base to the wall. Put the mount back in and screw in the camera and position it in place. Time to do some testing. So this is the video and audio quality of the Reolink Domus. the video quality of the Reolink Lumos and this uh, is totally dark.
and the in, the uh, infrared LEDs are on and the spotlights are off or the spotlights is off and this is at 10 feet 15 20 So this is the video quality of the Reolink Lumos and the lights are off but the Reolink Lumos spotlight is on and that's the only light there and also that little light right over there and this is at 10 feet 15 20 So this is the video quality of the Reolink Lumos and this with all my lights on and also the spotlight on on the Reolink Lumos. So this is at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the Reolink Lumos and it's 1257 and I'm on my LTE connection. So let's check it out. There you go. And then I click on that. And it goes to live view. So now it is uh, 1258 and it's been less than a minute and we will see what the cool off period of the Reolink Lumos would be. So let's check it out. There you go. Got a notification and it's less than a minute. As to motion detection, Reolink has both PIR or passive infrared and also pixel-based detection. The PIR sensor is limited to 21 feet. And this is where during my first testing, it seems like the PIR sensor is the only sensor working and the pixel-based detection is not. It started off that I will only get detected around 20 to 25 feet, which is what they stated the max distance of their PIR sensor. 25 feet. There you go. I got detected the same thing at 25 feet. But when I was testing the zones, I still get notified even if I'm in the blue zone. So the motion zones is not really that accurate. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys how this uh, motion zoning works. So it's here, you create a zone over the area you don't want to receive alerts about. So you have a pen tool right here that you just draw on the area you don't want to get notified if you don't want to get uh, the camera to get triggered so you color this with the blue zone that's it's supposed to be right create a zone over the area you don't want to receive alerts about so that's it and let's save this so that means if I'm gonna go right here on the right side of uh, the cones or of the on the markers I shouldn't get notified am I right well I guess I'm wrong because I'm still getting notification and alerts now if I color the pen all the way if I color the zone all the way the view of the camera so that all of it will be blue zones so that I don't get any alerts at all it's all blue click Save really there you go so what does that mean I shouldn't get alerts 
anywhere I go right here, I shouldn't get any alerts. So that one works. But it seems like if it's partial zones, it doesn't. So I've forwarded my issues to Relink and they have been working on making the motion detection on both PIR and pixel-based systems work together. This is the audio test coming out from the Relink looms. So what do you think guys? Video quality in both daytime and night is pretty good. I like that the spotlight, while visually not that bright, but it is more than enough to light up the area in the recording without needing additional lighting. More lighting the better though. I've already been in contact with Relink as to motion detection. During testing, it acts like the PIR sensor is the only one working, and the pixel-based detection and the zones are not working as intended. Relink might need to tweak and balance both these detection systems to work reliably. Within 25 feet, motion detection is spot on and I barely have any false notifications, even when it is set to the highest sensitivity. Any questions? Comment down below. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the bell notification so as to get notified when I upload product reviews like this video, product updates, comparison videos, and long-term reviews. Thank you.